So this is a budget headset from Red Dragon and it's called the Arius Gaming Headset. We'll check out its physical overview, features and do some mic tests for you guys. Everything you need to know, coming up. Hey what's up guys, it's Mac here and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. So if this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's check out the headset itself. So what do we get in the box? Obviously the gaming headset itself. Headphone with mic adapter for your smartphone. Red Dragon stickers and the manual. Now let's check out some physical overview. The build is all plastic materials and it looks cheaply made at first look. Even more so after holding the headphones. And this feel like it will break easily when you drop it. So don't. I like the headband texture on the top. It feels like a rubberized material as well as the cushion on the headband. It's nice. It's not bad but not that amazing either. The clamping force of the headset is a bit weak and this might fall if you move too much. I guess that will depend on how big or small your head is. The headband is adjustable and it has a distinguishable clicks when you adjust it but I don't really trust that plastic frame inside. By the looks of it, you already know it is, it is a very cheap material. Well, I don't really expect much from its price point that is already given but I'm just informing you before you decide to purchase one of these. Moving on, the ear cushions are comfortable and its cover is made out of a leather like material and yes, it is not breathable. You cannot remove it either and I don't even want to try it because the build is so fragile. It also has a mic that flips up and down and still picks up sound on either positions and this doesn't have any noise cancellation features just to let you know the headset also has a volume control on the left side of the ear cups and lastly the cable is permanently attached on the headset itself and on the other end of the cable this is how it looks like if you want to know more detailed specification about this headset just check this out and pause the video now for its features, there's not much to say but it is a stereo headphone using a 3.5mm jack with over-ear soft cushion and some high sensitivity microphone. Works on Windows or any smartphone using the included adapter. And that's about it. Enough with those features and now let's talk about how it best the headphone sounds like. Surprisingly, it has a good bass, so-so mids, and lacks a little bit on highs in my opinion. But I can say for sure that this is way better than the Rock the Gould and Rock Caro headset that we reviewed some time ago. Because they are in the same price range, that's why we are comparing it to them. Now, this might not be a 7.1 headset, but the sounds are clear and it doesn't sound distorted even on the highest volume. At this price point, I would recommend buying this one over the rack headsets I just mentioned earlier. If you are more into performance than physical quality, that is. If you got an audio interface like the Zenix 302, just put a little highs on your mix and you are good to go. Before we talk about the mic performance, let's listen to the mic test first. So this is actually the sound of the mic directly plugged into my PC and there is no mix or post processing uh, it's just plain mic recording directly on the what we have here is the Streamlabs OBS so there are no filters as well so uh, I'm not sure if you're hearing some buzzing sound but I think you can fix that if you have uh, a filter included for this mic so we're going to go to the filters and just uh, add uh, noise suppression and just uh, press done and I'm not sure so let me know how does this thing sound so I'm actually inside my room where I usually record my 
a voiceover. So this is how it sounds. And another thing that I need to mention about this is um, the mic, uh, this mic, when you flip it up, it still picks up sound. So it doesn't uh, have a really good function about that, but rather just a plain flip up kind of design. So anyway, it's still good, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Okay, so this is the sound of the headset's mic using my iPhone. So actually, I am still in the same room as you can see and I'm using the included dongle so to convert those to uh, 3.5 millimeter jack for audio and mic. So this is how it sounds. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Later on, we're going to check it outside. So let's try it out. Okay, now I am actually at the outside and as you can hear, everything is being picked up because this uh, headset doesn't have a noise cancellation feature. Anyway, this is the sound of the mic uh, in an outside environment. If you're going to use this for your uh, gaming during your mobile gaming, you know. So this is how it sounds. In conclusion, for its price, the sound is good enough, I guess. Mic quality is functional, though it picks up the background noises around you. The mic pickup still delivers clear audio. It works on PC and smartphones, whether it be in iPhone or Android, with the included adapter, of course. The downside, though, is the build quality. It really looks fragile and easy to break if you mishandle. As I've said earlier, we don't expect much from a $10 gaming headset. So will I recommend it? No, if you're a competitive gamer. Yes, if you just want to get by and you are really in a tight budget. Still, I would suggest that you keep that $10 in your pocket and earn some more and get a better one in the future. If you wanted to know our recommended gaming headset, just check out the description below. Before we end this video, let me ask you a question. Are you going to buy this headset or do you have a better option? Please let us know in the comment section below. So that's it guys. If you found this video interesting and helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.